Today is October 15th, on which we commemorate Teresa of Avila, nun. Having only recently and somewhat tenuously emerged from 800 years of Moorish rule, the Spanish Church was keen to assert its control. The Spanish Inquisition vigorously sought out non-Christians and supposed heretics to forcibly convert or silence them. Into this world, Teresa of Avila was born in 1515. Her grandfather was a Jewish convert, always viewed with suspicion by the Inquisition. Teresa's family, then, had great interest in ensuring that their children were raised firmly in the Roman faith, and so Teresa developed an intense piety from an early age. Teresa entered the Carmelite convent. She had long suffered from chronic illness that led her to intense times of prayer, which eventually developed into ecstatic visions and spiritual experiences. In one such vision, she saw a seraph with a golden spear who repeatedly drove its point into her heart. This caused her great spiritual pain, and yet also an ineffable sense of being near to Christ in her sufferings. From that day forward, it became her lifelong endeavor to live and suffer like Christ. While Teresa was having life-changing spiritual experiences, she saw in her fellow nuns spiritual laxity and a devotion of going through the motions. She was moved to leave and start a new reformed Carmelite order that would re-establish the strict rules of the order as well as add even more asceticism, all in an effort to remove as much distraction and frivolous concern from the lives of the nuns that they may concentrate on lives of contemplative prayer. This new order would become known as the Discalced Carmelites because of their custom of going shoeless. After much struggle and opposition, the Discalced Carmelites began to found monasteries and convents all over Europe, calling monks and nuns to renewed devotion. Teresa's final illness came upon her in early October 1582. By a strange quirk of history, this was just at the time when the Roman Church was changing from the Julian to Gregorian calendar, which meant ten days had to be skipped that year. She began dying on the evening of October 4th and died the next morning, which was October 15th. Her most lasting contribution to the church is, of course, her devotional writings. She encourages Christians to live lives of penetrating contemplative prayer and of passionate devotion for drawing closer to Christ. Her perseverance in suffering and her teaching that in the midst of physical, emotional, and spiritual pains, one can gain an especially powerful sense of communion with their suffering Lord has been an inspiration to Christians ever since. Let us pray. O God, by your Holy Spirit, you move Teresa of Avila to manifest to your church the way of perfection. Grant us, we pray, to be nourished by her excellent teaching and enkindle within us a keen and unquenchable longing for true holiness. Through Jesus Christ, the joy of loving hearts, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen.